today um, have a presentation about uh, LCD and LED technology. And so, um, so, right now. so first off, um, you should know what is LCD. So uh, LCD stands for liquid crystal display. And uh, the way it works is the LCD is affected by electric current and it untwists the liquid crystal in order to verify varying the degree depend on the voltage of the current. So uh, they actually use this liquid crystal because they react predictably to electric current in a way that uh, so that it can control the light passes. So uh, this is the diagram of how the LCD works. As you can see, um, the LCD consists of uh, two pieces of polarized glasses and they have two pol polarizing film a coating uh, of pneumatic liquid crystal. So as light strikes the first filter, it is polarized. The molecules in each layer then guide the line they receive to the next layer. And as the light passes through the liquid crystal layer, the molecule also change the light plane of vibration to match them with their own angle. When the light reaches the far side of the liquid crystal substance, it vibrates at the same angle as the final layer of the molecules. And in the final layer is match up with the second polarized glass filter, then the light will pass through. If we apply an electric charges to the liquid crystal molecule, they will untwist, and then the image will be displayed on the, uh, the last cover glass. You can see. The advantage of the LCD is lightweight, compared to uh, uh, older technology uh, is have lower power consumption. It doesn't have any uh, electromagnetic emission. It have a larger screen compared to the old technology is have more like the screen can be more than 20 inches and above. And it's completely flat screen. It has crisp pictures and digital and uniform colors. It has fully digital signal processing possible. And uh, next off is LED. What is LED? LED stands for light emitting diode. And in my research, I think they said it's another form of LCD technology. But uh, it is it have an LED backlit LCD. It is a flat panel display that uses um, LED backlighting instead of, of the cone cathode backlighting using other LCD displays. It is the semiconductor chip. Um, it is the technology in which um, the semiconductor chip is located in the center of the bar, as you can see. So when there is sufficient voltage is applied to the chip across the lid of the LED, electron can move easily in only one direction across the junction between the P and N region. In case you are uh, wondering what a PP is, stand for the uh, positive region, and N stand for the negative region. So when the voltage is applied and the current starts to flow, the electrons in the N region have the sufficient energy to move across the junction into the PU region. And you can see in the picture as we go. So each time an electron recombines with a positive charge, electric potential energy is converted into an electromagnetic energy. And then for each recombination of the negative and a positive charge, a quantum of electromagnetic energy is emitted in the form of photon of the line with a frequency characteristic of the semiconductor material. It's usually a combination of the chemical elements, gallium, arsenic, and the phosphorus. Um, the color of the line is determined by the form of the electron and hence energy level of the photons. Uh, so uh, basically there are three techniques used in LED. The first one is uh, edge LED. So this method of backlighting allows LED backlit display to be extremely thin. The light is diffused uniformly across the screen. Uh, the second one is the full array LEDs. It has uh, better contrast and brightness. It has greater color range, more rapid response to change in scene, and more accurate image rendering. And the last one, um, Okay. Um, the last one is a dynamic one second, one second. Could we stop?
Or you have to speak very loud, okay? Okay. Is the battery dead? Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. You can continue. The last one is the dynamic local dimming LED. It's also a backlighting uh, technology that allow local dimming of specific area of darkness on the screen. So this technology help to show the true black and white at much higher dynamic contrast so that uh, you can see um, the image uh, much, uh, at a better resolution. Um, so the advantage of LED, basically the, it had the same advantage as the LCD, but the use of LED backlighting allowed for a thinner panel, which is, I think, is the best. Um, it is it, it, a technology that, allow, that much better than LCD because the the panel will be much thinner compared to the LCD compared to the technology using the LCD. Um, second of all, if energy saving, it up to eighty five percent less power than the incandescent, and it reduce in maintenance cost compared to other technologies, and it increased visibility in daylight and at these weather conditions. So. Uh, all that I have for the presentation. If you have any questions, you can ask me now.